Warning, if you have not seen the season three trailer, click off this video. It contains spoilers. Or go and watch the trailer first before you watch this video. Again, spoiler warning. Also, if you're for any particular ships, you may not like what you see or hear. We warned you. Ah, uh, the season three Comic Con trailer. Needless to say, when this trailer came out, the fans went nuts. Star Tom fans cheered, and Starco fans' reactions ranged from panic attacks to full on mental breakdowns. As a Starco shipper myself, this trailer is hard to watch. Meanwhile, we imagine the executives at Disney, the Star vs. production crew, and especially Darren FC, were loving watching their fans' reactions. This trailer has left fans confused and arguing for days. Just how Disney wants it, they love to troll us. Of course, amid all the chaos and craziness, fans immediately started speculating what we actually saw. There are many theories about the trailer. We'll get to the heart of the matter in a moment. But let's talk about the more subtle details first, since they may come up as the series progresses. The event taking place is called the Silver Bell Ball, and appears to involve royal families probably all from Muni getting together. Kind of like a small dance chaperone by everyone's parents. Yeah, that sounds like loads of fun. It's probably meant to foster goodwill between the kingdoms, and comparing those there with a map of Muni, we can make some strong guesses as to who is who. We can see Princess Ponyhead and her father obviously representing the Cloud Kingdom. Right by King Ponyhead, you can see two pigeons, obviously of the Pigeon Kingdom, but apparently absent a child. Seems like an opportunity for an egg joke. You can see some rather large people dressed in animal fur, and you might remember them from Game of Flags. These had to be River's relatives from the Johansson Kingdom. Their son seems to be playing with his mirror phone. Next to them, you can see octopus-like people, likely from the Waterfolk Kingdom. On the other end, we have two families and two princesses that are a little harder to place. One family seems to have some blemishes, which could mean that they're from the Forest of Unlikely Spider Bites or the Forest of Probable Itchiness. The last family could be from anywhere. We really got no idea. Later in the trailer, we see two other characters. One is a giant that looks like a demon or a dragon. Most likely this is Tom's mother, especially given her tears at the end of the trailer. She looks so proud of her boy. River is fighting with another king who's close to just that he is Tom's father. He and River have some kind of issue with each other, likely in their past, and might be fighting over their kids dancing together. This and how Tom's parents met must be interesting stories. We're eager to know them. Okay, now on to the heart of the matter. Star and Tom's dance. Fans have been swooning, dreading, and speculating a lot about this beautiful moment, such as what the apparent magic is allowing them to literally dance on air. Some suspect a magic similar to the Blood Moon Ball. Others think that it's their own magic intertwining, and others suspect love. A few of us suspect it's concentrated fangirl energy. The biggest speculations of all are when the dance takes place and how Star and Tom know about each other. Kay the multi-shipper and that weird girl thinks that the clip is about Star and Tom being forced to dance, which is why they are angry, but as they dance they start to feel old feelings for each other. That's just one of the many theories. Some people even have more than one theory of what happened. I rate strange comments has three ideas of what could happen. First theory they believe is that Tom tried to remind Star of when they met in order to make her feel old feelings for him, but she rejects him for what is hopefully that last time. The second theory is that same story as the first, but instead of rejecting Tom, she takes him back because she has feelings for him again. Sorry, Starco Shippers. The third and final theory that I Make Strange Comments has is that Tom and Star were both mad at each other. Star is mad at Tom for wanting to get back together, and Tom is mad at Star for hurting him. But the royal families force Star and Tom to dance, probably because they want Star and Tom to get together to unite the kingdoms, as Star herself hints in the book, Mastering Every Dimension. This causes old feelings to come back, and they start liking each other again. Sorry to Starkle fans once more. We sent this script to Dice Graphic Ben, who is our theory editor. We asked for his thoughts on this little moment. While he admits that he is more of a Starko shipper, he brought up a good point. Like quite a few fans, he suspects this moment takes place in the past, like two or three years ago in the show's timeline. It was stated in the Blood Moon Ball that Tom was Star's boyfriend, so that relationship had to start at some point before the show's present. 
as to why they're mad, if indeed the parents are kind of urging the relationship, as stated in the guidebook, the two of them probably wouldn't be all that eager to begin with. I mean, would you want to be told who you're going to marry? Even so, as in some anime with young reluctant fiancés, there is a moment between them where they seem to think, maybe this person isn't so bad. This must be what leads them to be dating, followed by the eventual breakup. Also, while they seem to be mad at each other at the beginning of the dance, remember that Tom has been trying to win back Star since we first met him. This would seem like an ideal opportunity. Also, their last encounter seemed to leave them in an okay standing with each other. So why would they be mad at each other? The point is, it's an ideal explanation for how their apparent previous relationship started, and could be a basis or a reference point for any future relationship. Do you agree with Kay the Multishipper in that weird girl? Or do you agree more with one of I Make Weird Comments' theories? Do you think this graphic Ben has the right idea? Or maybe you have your own theory of what happened? Please let us know in the comments and be sure to subscribe for our future videos. Thank you for watching!